Love Food Hate Waste campaign is a project about reducing food waste in households and this is the second year we're running this project in Rove and Adamsdown and Cardiff. We've been running roadshow events where people have come along and tried out tasters, um, we've given them tips and tools and we've also run these two cooking workshops which have been really successful this year. We have run the workshop today at Oasis which is a refugee charity. It was a great place to, to do this workshop because a lot of times places like this get donations from supermarkets or food share and they try to create recipes with what they've got. There was loads of different people here from different backgrounds coming together sharing different recipes from their cultures and tips and tricks. Okay, then there were two guys from Eritrea who saw quite a lot of papers that had been donated and we had to use up and some courgettes and they made this fantastic tempura dish um, which we then you know, inspired us to make this red and garlic dip which is very traditional in Greece where I'm from and is also served with fried courgettes so it was a, this kind of workshop worked very much by just people remembering things that they could bring to the table. Now we talked about what foods they most commonly wasted, we talked about different ways people could store these foods to make yeah. them last longer, other ways to use them in terms of using leftovers, we talked about date labels and portioning yeah. so it's interesting that the participants had tips to share as well. I think it's a really effective way to teach people about food waste and thinking about how you can use stuff rather than throwing it away because it's all very well hearing it on the television, seeing a programme about it or reading about it in the newspaper but to actually come along and get your hands on the cooking ingredients and having somebody there who's an expert in cooking and that it is okay to use them, they're not going to do you any harm. I learned about portion sizes, which is great because um, I'm rubbish at doing portion sizes. And I learned about use by dates, best before dates, and how to make decisions for myself as opposed to just rely on what it says in the book. Yeah. We were very successful this year through the support of Ralph and our partner Luke from Kinevin to convince Sainsbury's to donate the food that they would have wasted all the commonly wasted food in households is also commonly wasted in supermarkets. We were not given just enough for the workshop, we were given a lot more, but we have managed to channel that food to their kitchen and they feed between 100 and 200 people a day. Hopefully we have created a new link between the charity and St. Bruce. We're very keen to establish such initiatives.